Hello again. I will begin with a small history lesson. This graph shows the variation of BX magnetic component in the IMF for years 1964 and 2000. Notice that the scale shows range of magnitudes from minus 3 to 3 nanoteslas. If you don't understand this graph, I'll say it shortly. From 1964 till 2000, the BX component wasn't stronger than 3 or minus 3 nanoteslas. Actually, it reached 3 nanoteslas just once, around 1978, and minus 3 twice, in 1987 and 1992. For the rest of all those years, it was oscillating around 2 minus 2 nanoteslas. And now look at the most current ACE magnetic field readings. This graph shows the BX component. During last two days, BX component reached the value of minus 6 nanoteslas three times, where two readings come from 16th of June, that means today. Right now, when I'm recording this movie, the value shifted from minus 6 to 4 nanoteslas. And currently there is no solar activity. For people who didn't watch previous movie, BX component is connected with the direction of solar wind. While it's blowing straight at Earth, BX should be at zero. And now look here. BX component is visibly stronger than BY and BZ. It means that the field lines are rather parallel to the direction of solar wind than perpendicular. Their angle at this point, where BY equals 0, BZ equals 2.5 and, and BX equals 4 nanoteslas, looked like this. According to such angle, solar wind particles supposed to move in such direction. It simply doesn't make any sense until we won't add a force which will affect the directions of field lines. Let's compare some readings from the past with the current ones. Those are the ACE magnetic graphs. Black line shows the BX component. First, look at the range of values. As you can see, in 2009, BX was oscillating most of the time around zero, with small jumps, while in 2014 it stays most of the time at minus 5 nanoteslas. And now another readings which changed visibly during this time. Goes flux graphs. I've noticed long ago this weird frequency of particle fluxes and since today I didn't found any explanation than the influence of low energy field. Look how the frequency changed from 2009 till today.
it looks that the frequency grew almost twice. Coming back to current events, there was couple spikes of energetic particles on ACE readings. Last one, which took place just before 10 UTC, is worth to mention, as it was recorded on low energy protons and electron graphs, as well as on the high energy proton readings. Look at those graphs. Around 14 UTC. And the recent readings. Again, 14 UTC. Moscow. Minus 250 nano teslas, pretty strong impulse. And it can be connected with the impact of coronal hole stream. However, the velocity didn't grow too high. Besides, BZ component turned northward and it didn't reach more than 5 nano teslas. So the geomagnetic activity should remain low. But now it's time to look at the last graph on this screen, phi angle. The value is given in degrees and it represents the sum of Bx and Bz components. Here is a nice page explaining it. I'll put the link in the description box. Anyway, the phi angle decides if the particles are moving towards or outwards from the sun. And the direction of current flow seems to flip very often. In last couple hours, 
such flip took place a couple times. In this case, we can see that the field lines are placed mostly along the BX. BY and BZ are close to zero. Maybe I just show it to you. However, in this case it is probably connected with the coronal hole stream. Strange. It looks that there is a small wave of low energy protons, which travel with the coronal hole stream. I don't know which of all those factors can be blamed for those impulses of mimic, but they are spectacular. <laughs> 